Hey, what's up guys? Duff here. I am super jazzed about our new tie-dye cake mix. It's the grooviest cake you'll ever make, and it's super easy to do. My friend Megan here is going to show you how to do it. Take it away, Megan. Thanks, Duff. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to preheat the oven to 350 degrees. We're going to start with a mixing bowl. Take out your mix. Just dump it right in. And now we're going to add two tablespoons of oil. One and one third cup of water. And last, we're going to add the whites of three large eggs. All right, that should be good enough. All right, next we're going to spray down our pans. And you can use butter and just get butter all around and then toss it with some flour, or you can just use a regular cooking spray, and that's what we're going to use. All right, next we're going to divide the batter into six small bowls. Each bowl is going to get about three quarters of a cup of the batter. All right, now that we've got all our batter divided, we're going to be adding our food coloring. And they're going to come in these little packets. So we're going to grab a scissors. We'll start with the red. Cut a little corner off. And to the first bowl, we're going to make we're going to make this one red. So this one gets about 15 drops, or I like to just put in about two thirds of this little bag. Then into this one, which is going to be orange, I'm just going to put about two more drops of the red. And then the last one, which will be the purple. I'm just going to put, finish off this little bag of red. All right, and the yellow is going to get divided between the yellow, the orange, and the green. So you're going to put about a third of it into the yellow, a third of it into the orange, and the last third into the green. All right, and the blue is going to go into the green, the blue, and the purple. So into the green, we're going to put about a drop. Into the purple, we're going to put about two drops. And the rest is going to just go into the blue dish. All right, next we're going to mix each of these up. So we'll grab a fork. We'll start with the red. And one of the pans is going to go red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. And then the other pan is going to be the inverse of that. So we're going to start with the red and put about half of the batter right into the middle. OK, so that is about half of the red. And then you're going to let that just naturally spread on its own. Right? Then we're going to grab the orange and do the same thing right into the middle. Right. And then we're going to repeat with all of the colors. Okay, so that is our first pan. Next, we're going to take the other 8-inch pan, and we're going to go backwards through the rainbow. All right, so now both of your pans are set. And it's really important when you're pouring these that you make sure that you're not touching them, that you're letting them just fall naturally into each new layer of batter. Now that our oven has been preheated to 350 degrees, we're ready to pop the cakes in. And I would bake them for about 25 to 30 minutes or until a toothpick inserted into the center comes out clean. All right, our cakes are out of the oven now and we have let them cool about five to 10 minutes. You, you wanna be able to touch the pan, but their cakes are still gonna be warm. Otherwise, they're really hard to get out if you let them cool completely. So to get them out, I kind of bat the pan back and forth to loosen it from the bottom and the sides. Well, we've got our cakes now baked and cooled, so we are going to crown the top layer off so that when they're stacked, they'll lay flat. So we'll grab the first one. And I kind of turn the cake counterclockwise while I slide the knife through it. 
Okay, so now that our cakes have been crowned, we are going to assemble them on a car piece of cardboard here. And one thing that I like to do is I like to grab a little dab of buttercream and just lightly ice the bottom of the cardboard here so that when you put the cake on it, it acts as a little bit of a glue so the cake won't slide around on the cardboard while you're icing it later. So we'll start with one. Now we're gonna throw a layer of this yellow buttercream here in the middle. All right, now we will throw the next layer on top, upside down like this. Okay, now we are gonna ice the cake. All right, let's see how cool this came out. I love it, it's groovy. Wow. Okay, now it's time for you to go make some love it from the oven. <laughs> <laughs>